Hello and welcome to this Affinity Photo tutorial. Now in a recent Facebook group, uh, the group being Affinity Photo, um, Rick Brown posted this image that he had, or had taken himself, and he said like, smoke from a nearby forest fire posed lots of hurdles. Well, t trying to take this shot of Grand Teton, um, and he couldn't get like these mountains in the background to sort of really show up and unfortunately only had the JPEG version not a raw version to work with. Now I asked him to send me the picture and I'll try and make him a very quick video looking at how he could use the haze removal filter. Um, so this is what I'm going to do. Let me just shut that and like I said this Facebook group is just called Affinity Photo. If I remember I will add a link to the group in the description for this video. Now Rick Brown kindly did send me the JPEG and I have it open here in Affinity Photo. Now the uh, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make a duplicate of this so we protect the original image and it's always a good thing to do but it is especially a good thing to do in this case because the haze removal filter is a destructive filter it is not a live filter which would still keep your original safe but it is always a good policy to do is to duplicate your original image and work on the copy now all I did there was I right clicked the layer and then just use the duplicate option here in the layer studio. You could also do it from the layer menu where you've got duplicate or you could just use the keyboard shortcut which is control plus J and I believe it's command plus J on a Mac. Just for a bit of extra housekeeping, what I will do is I'll just double click or single click on the name of this layer and I'll just change it just so that you know, if I do extra editing layers later, I don't get confused between what is the copy and what is the original layer. Um, so I'm coming up to the filters menu. And I come down virtually to the last item, which is haze removal. Now if I just click on that, the haze removal filter will turn up. And we have three different sliders, distance, strength and exposure correction. Now it remembers, this might even be the default setting, but I think it just remembers the last settings that we used. So let me just bring these down so we don't see such a good effect and in fact in the bottom down here we have three icons which is the no split view which is what I have here you can the middle one is the split view so you have this line coming down the middle you put the cursor over it, it should change to a double ended arrow and you can move this slider around and as you can see down here it says after and before so everything on the left of this line is what the image looks like after you've made some adjustments adjustments and the older stuff on the right is what the image original image looked like so as i say you can move this backwards and forth and even on this fairly low settings hopefully you can especially around this area here you can see how much this has brought up the mountains in the background the last image on this uh, icon on this down here is where you get to see like side by side the images so everything on the left of the line is after the edit and everything on the right is the original and this line you can't move you just sort of get one or the other so i'll leave it in this view for now 
and I will just raise the distance up and you get some improvement in the mountains here on the left and we'll just bring up the strength and the exposure correction and hopefully you can now see what that alteration has done to these mountains as compared to the original um, it's more case now down to personal taste I mean there'll be some people out there who might think I'm overdoing this um, but it is mainly just to show what this filter can do so I think I'll leave that there I'll go back to the single view and then click apply and you can always double check your progress here because we have worked on the copy I could just turn off the visibility by clicking on this dot and below is the original and the one we're working on is now the altered one now just because we've got these mountains here it doesn't now better visible it doesn't mean we can't sort of just tinker with a little bit with a bit more editing and again this is down to my personal choice Rick Brown may not like it and he will do it a different way but if I come to this half black and white circle icon here click on that we have the adjustments and I will select levels and I will just bring the black level to the right to the line lines up with the end, edge of this histogram here just to make sure that all the blacks in the image are actually black now the gamma slider I'm just going to have a quick tinker with this just to see yeah I think that looks quite good so I'll just close that down and what I will do is just click on the icon for the image just to make sure that is the layer that is selected and I think what I will just do then is have a look at vibrance and as you can see the vibrance has now been added as a second child layer because I made sure that I clicked on the icon for the layer to make sure that that was the layer that was selected and um, I'll just think I know I won't alter saturation because that does all colors vibrance will just make uh, sort of the lesser colors for want of a better phrase a bit stronger and not really affect the stronger colors so I'll just move this yeah it's, it's very subtle I don't know whether you can see this but the greens and yellows in the foreground are becoming a bit bright and we go right down to there and bring it up I'm just adding a little bit more color to the foreground so basically that is my look at the age removal filter but in just three simple edits with the age removal filter and then levels and vibrance I've changed Rick's image to this from this was the original and personally I, th I like it but you know Rick Brown and others will, may hate it but this is basically just for the use of this video and a look at the haze removal filter thank you for watching and goodbye